Our next case here is from the pleura. So if we look here, we can see an area of a pleural plaque. So we have this dense uh, collagenous fibrous tissue that really has this nice layered appearance to it with these interspersed holes that are characteristically called a basket bee appearance. <laughs> side here, we can see that there's this proliferation of these epithelioid cells. They do look fairly bland, and that is often what we see in mesothelioma, is that they look a little bit more on the monotonous bland side in comparison to carcinoma. And they're forming these tubular structures that are diffusely invading down and getting into the underlying fiber or adipose tissue. So when these epithelioid cells invade into the underlying tissue, such as in this case, the fiber adipose tissue, or if it is using the visceral pleura into the lung parenchyma, this allows you to get the diagnosis of a malignant mesothelioma. It is important to exclude a carcinoma. And to do that, we typically rely on immunohistochemical stains. And there's no one stain that is perfectly sensitive or specific. So we usually use a battery or a panel of stains to differentiate that. 